Hello everyone, uh, my name is Yatana Chan. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do PowerPoint presentation uh, using OpenOffice. Uh, so this is uh, OpenOffice software that I have downloaded. Um, once you click it, this is what you will see. As you can see, we have test document, spreadsheet, presentation, drawing, database, and formula. Today, um, I'm going to show you how to do presentation. So I'm just going to click on that. And this is what you will see. Uh, we have three choices here. And then uh, the first one is MP presentation, which is kind of look like this. Very simple and very basic. But I would like to uh, use something a little bit nicer. So I'm going to click on the second one. The one is uh, from templates. And I'm going to click on the presentation backgrounds. And here the preview is what uh, uh, it will look like um, after you choose it let's say um, I want to choose the for just for today I would like to choose something really nice um, uh, how about uh, keyboard and then uh, this is how it will look like so I just gonna click on create and okay um this is what it is um as you can see uh here is five you you might want to save it and then or if you want to create a new one or open uh the previous one or go back to the recent documents um these are the stuff and then you, if you want to print here and then you can go to edit and view and insert and you know after a couple of um time you you have learn how to do the powerpoint presentation here you probably will um find this or this um functions very useful just for today i'm just going to show you the simple stuff um okay let's say we we'll, okay let's go to the answer and then click on the slide if you click on slides you're going to get another slide exactly the same thing as the first one and then if you click another one you're going to get another slide just like the rest of them so it depends on how many you want to do how many slides you want to do for your presentation uh, you can create as many as you need to but today I'm just going to uh, demonstrate two slides so let's delete the, 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 the last one okay after you have that click on the uh, left click on the first one and then left click on the title to edit it let's just make it very simple um slide today uh how about all about me and then i would i would like to write something about me so i'm going to click here and i don't want to have a bullet point so i'm going to delete that and then my name is rose flower well i just uh I'm just going to pretend I'm Rose Flower and I am a student. I'm a student. I love to read, write, and um, cook. So, um, all about me for the title. Uh, let's just pretend I would like to edit it. So, let's just see the font. I would like to make it to the a little bit better. Um, and then I want the color to be very bright so let's choose the orange red okay and then my name is Rose Flower okay this is kind of nice and let's just change the font that you want to change it you highlight it and then click on right click and then you can change the the font um, let's just make it okay how about here okay and then maybe a little bigger so i'm going to change the size to um, 36 okay so my name is rose flower and i'm a student i love to rewrite and cook i love to rewrite and cook okay let's just go to the second slide uh let's just edit the title again uh here we would i would like to talk about my classes okay so my classes okay here i would like to keep the bullet points because it's going to be a list of things so i'm taking cs3 231 okay it's cis 234 and cis 310 and take it math 125 
Okay, let's just change this one to the color. Oops. Okay, let's just go to edit and then add to move. Whatever um, you click accidentally, you can always go to edit and then just and do the stuff. Okay, let's just um, change the color to the maybe blue and then let's just change let's just keep this color black what i want to do what i want to show you right now is how to insert a picture so you go to insert go down all the way to the picture and then click on from file and then, then you're going to see a lot of pictures these are copyrighted pictures so you shouldn't be having problems any problems um using this so let's just pick tulips and then click on open then you're going to see a picture here okay so this is way too big for our slides so i'm going to adjust it make it a little smaller and still a little bit so i'm going to make it a little smaller make it a little narrow and then i'm going to go a little closer here oh i think it should look nice now. okay let's just Mm, I just want to move down a little bit, maybe, and then move down this one a little bit. So make it nicer. Okay. Um, I think it's it looks okay. Uh, then after you have created a slices that you know you want, uh, let's do the slideshow, and then let's uh click on the slideshow settings, all slices. Okay okay this should be okay and then we want to slide transition that's what we want to do okay or uh, we can go here and do it let's say wipe right this is how we how slide will change from one to another and i want to change the speed to very slow and i want to ch oops i want to ch i want to change to okay let's see uh nature nature too is what okay let's just see this and apply to all slides uh let's see slice here okay if we can't go down to another slice okay so if you go back to the first one go down the slice one so let's go to bed you press the escapes and then you will go to this um slice and you can edit it if you still want to but this is basically how um, you do the PowerPoint presentation using openoffice.org uh, if you want to download um, you you can go to openoffice.org and uh, download it for free it is the free software and I hope you like it if you have any questions please um, uh, leave the questions on the comment uh, box below and I'll probably try to answer uh, the best way I can um, thank you so much for watching hope to see you next time bye